everybody, so I hope you're well and having the most incredible day as always. Today I'm coming at you with a story time video and I've never really done a story time video before because I feel like it's just me rambling on for about 20 minutes about something. Uh, but I feel like I really want to share this with you because it's quite a big deal for me anyway because I very much rely on my hair and as you guys can tell it's a lot shorter now. Um, it was literally down to, I can't even here probably half my hair is gone and I wanted to tell you why because I need to just rant it out of me so I can move on with my life so grab yourselves a coffee please because this is gonna be a long one and I hope you guys enjoy so I've been to the salon probably three or four times before and I absolutely love them so much they've given me products before for free um, they treat you so well like they're so kind generous and amazing and I absolutely loved it so it was just really unfortunate this had to happen anyway so I've been to this hairdressers so many times before and I absolutely love what they do they're so kind and genuine and absolutely lovely and I honestly love them so much but this time just went wrong I don't know why it went wrong but I'm gonna explain it to you anyway and hopefully you guys can tell me but uh, yeah so basically me and my mum went to the salon and I had ombre hair before as you would have seen it was very dry and brittle and it needed a good cut because I'd been on holiday and it was just all kind of horrible I'll insert a photo now so you can see what it looks like it looks gross um, and basically I wanted it to be nice and bright as blonde as possible so like this kind of colour um, really sort of high to the roots and just really nice and fresh and the, the lady that did my hair was like that's fine like that's not a problem because it's basically a refresh of what I've had already um, so she put the dye on she used like a brush to do it um sat me down in the chair for about 40 minutes i didn't have the heat on it it was just literally sat there which was really nice just chilling having a coffee the usual nothing abnormal um went downstairs had the hair wash out the hair wash out the uh dye washed out had a like toner put on it and all was normal and then she styled it she cut it for me and it ended up looking like this and I actually really liked it I thought it looked really cool it was really sort of silvery and icy and I just really liked the way it looked uh, that was on the Thursday I want to say and I had to go to a funeral on the Monday so I washed it on the Sunday and I was like oh, I'll wash it ready for tomorrow got up on Monday morning I curled it with the straighteners and everything was fine went, went out came home was normal and it got to about Wednesday evening I think it was because I had my spinning class and I washed my hair when I got home and I felt I put hair mask on as well bearing in mind I put on a really rich hair mask when I got home and it just felt like bubble gum like it felt chewed bubble gum like that's the only way I could describe it like the ends felt horrible I let it air dry I put some um, oil in it and it was literally like frizzy it was almost like if you had back my hair put hairspray on it that is what it felt like it was really dry and frizzy and it was just falling out like it was just falling out into my hands so I took my hairbrush which is a tangle teaser and I grabbed the ends and I lightly brushed my ends of my hair over my, my dressing table and I looked down and there was probably enough hair to make a little wig out of it like it was horrible like tiny split ends were everywhere and it was disgusting and I looked down and I was having a panic because I was like this isn't normal like my hair hasn't done this before this is not normal and I um, I rang my mum and I was like mum I don't know what to do in times of need I'm 24 I still ring my mum in times of need because I don't know what to do so I was like mum I don't know what to do like my hair's really dry and she was like well have you put a mask on I was like yeah like it's just awful like it's horrible and I don't exaggerate like it was disgusting like I generally thought that it was just I don't even know like it was horrible it was horrible so she called my hairdressers for me because at 24 I still hate calling people like I hate it so she called my hairdressers and they were like right come in as soon as you can we'll have a little look at it it needs to be within the next few days um just so we can have a little look I was like right I'm working literally all weekend anyway so Thursday that Thursday I got on the train with my friend Zoe who I live with and we got on the train and um had it up in a bun I remember because all I could do with it I couldn't touch anything on it because it was so dry it was like falling out into my hands I put it up in a bun and we got on the train got into the hairdressers I took it out of the bun and I could see by their faces that something wasn't right because they were there like huh and I was like oh right I'm just gonna look at it they brushed it and I could hear like my hair falling out and if you've ever had this experience before it is the most terrifying thing so I'm like sat there and all I can hear are strands of hair like falling out to the floor and I was just sat in the chair like mm -hmm, like just shut my eyes just like letting them brush it and they were like having a little discussion behind me about what volume of bleach she used and like stuff like that and I was like oh something is not right like 
clearly something has gone wrong in the process here because my hair is falling out and I didn't know what to do and then um, they looked at me and they were like we're gonna have to cut it and I was like okay that's fine let's just cut the ends off not a problem I was like how short are we talking and they were like we're gonna have to cut all the dead ends off and there's probably about this much there and I was like huh okay um, right then. I mean, I'm the sort of person that gets a haircut, like, do you know what I mean? Like a tiny haircut. And I was sat in the chair and I was looking at my friend Zoe and I was like, I'm just gonna have to do it. Like, I've got no choice. I've just got on a train to go to Bath and I have to get it cut. I'm gonna have to. Like, I can't deal with it like this. I was like, okay, just cut it. And I could feel her scissors going across my back when she was sort of like neatening it up at the end. And I was like, it's really short. Like, it's so short, I can feel it. I've never had my hair this short, ever. Ever. Even when I bleached it myself and it royally messed up, it was still here. Like, this is very short for me. Um, anyway, they blow dried it straight and I looked in the mirror and I was like, right, okay, lovely. Like, I didn't cry, but I wanted to cry. But I thought, no, do you know what, it's just hair. I'm gonna have to just get on with my life. Like, Zoe was like, you actually look really nice. And I was like, yeah, but that's not the point. I spent £180 on a haircut, £180 on a haircut and dye for me to lose half my hair. So when I left, I called my mum and I said uh, I had to cut it and she was like, are you joking? I was like, no, they had to cut it off. And she was like, oh, okay, how much did they have to cut? I was like, it's very short. Like, it's so short. And I left the hairdresser and I put my hair up in a little half up bun thing. And I was like, I can't, I can't do it. Like, I can't deal with this hair. Like, this is so short. I don't know what to do with it. Um, anyway, I so said my mum was like, Mum, it's so short. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm, like, struggling because I want long hair. <laughs> this is not long hair. And she was like, right. Did they charge you for your haircut? Just then I was like, no. She was like, okay, good, fine. Um, and I was like, I should it's just annoying, I was like, because I've paid so much money, and I've moved out now, so like, money is important, like, every thing I buy now, I have to really sort of consider buying it, if you know what I mean, and I was like, I spent nearly £200 to get my hair done, and I'm just a little bit annoyed about it, she was like, it's fine, I'm going to ring them in the morning, and we'll try and get you a refund, I was like, okay, great, she sorted that out, got a refund, I'm over it, but... What do I do now, guys, with my hair? Like, I can't put it up, really, because it's short. I can't put it in pigtails, because I'll look about four. So what do I do? I would love your uh, suggestions below. I mean, I know that short hair is, like, very much, like, in style. So, like, it's fine. I can work with my short hair. But I just don't know what to do. My part in usually goes this way. But that doesn't look right. So I've been, like, flicking it about. And I'm just, I'm just struggling. If I'm honest with you, I just don't know what to do with my hair. So I'd like some advice down below, please. Or if you've got any videos that um, show you how to style short hair, that'd be fab. After I was on the phone with my mum, I got on the train. And I looked on my Snapchat. And I was like, oh, send a picture to my friends and I was like okay I'll send a picture see what it looks like and I was like okay took a picture and I was like I look like a boy no offence because I love short hair on people but I was like I have no hair I was like what am I doing like I hated it and I was like so close to crying on the train and I was like it's fine I'm fine and I got home and I was like I hate it I was texting my friends and I was like it's really short I don't like it and I put it on snapchat and everyone was like oh you look really nice and I was like it wasn't supposed to be like this, like this is an accident, uh, but thanks, I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, long story short, don't bleach your hair, cause uh, now I have none left. So that's literally my story. It's not much of a story time. However, I just wanted to rant about it because now I can get over it. But I hope you guys have a good day and subscribe if you're not already. Leave a comment down below if you've had any experiences at hairdressers where it's gone completely wrong because it'll make me feel a tiny bit better but also we can be miserable about it together. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you very soon.